Hi, Ed Diaz here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the TRX inside the Roland Phantom. All right, let's get started. So in the previous video, I went ahead and I pressed single tone, which cleared out a scene for me, just cleared out a basic initialized scene. And then I went ahead and I pressed pattern. And so I can go ahead and start recording. And then I chose what zone I was going to record my drums in. So I chose number eight. And then I actually went inside and chose what drum kit. OK, and I chose from some that I already had rated at three so I can go ahead and use them. And in this selection, I use hip hop kit uh, compression. All right. So we have that. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and show how to use the TR rec. The previous one, we showed how to use a real time recording uh, inside the pattern. But this time we're going to go ahead and go down and I'll go ahead and cursor down twice and I'm going to press TR rec. So the TR rec is a step sequencer. So it makes it real easy to add steps take out steps, whatever I want to do. So I'm going to get started now. So I already have my drum kit pulled up. And to choose what instrument I'm going to put in the step sequencer, I just have to hit it. OK, great. So I hit it. And I'm going to go ahead and press play. And then now I'm going to choose the appropriate step. And I could have had this uh, pattern at a length of one measure up to 32 measures. And I could have chose different steps to use. But I'm using 16th note. So here's my drum. And now let's input some drum. Cool. If I'm happy with that, I can move on. But I might say, you know what? Let me go ahead and add, adjust a little bit more. Good. That sounds great. Let's go ahead and add maybe a hi-hat. And I'll just use some random. Great. Now let's go ahead and add maybe a rim shot. That quickly, we have the bass drum, a little bit of hi-hat, and a rim shot. Let's try something else. Sounds pretty good. OK, now what if I did something, I, I, it didn't come out how I wanted. So I did this a go-go bell, and I'm not really liking it. I can just unselect it. Or what if I did the rim shot and I don't really like it? I can find it. There it is. And I can unselect it. So real quick, I can actually go in here and find what I was working on. And if I don't like it, I can just take it out. There's the, the go-go bell. Let's take it out. Let's go ahead and hit that rim shot again. Good, I like that. All right, when I am done, I, all I have to do is press the stop button. And then all I have to do is press pattern and check this out. It's already in the pattern, ready for me to continue my recording. Once again, my name is Ed Diaz with Roland Corporation, and this is the Roland Phantom. Make sure you check out all the bundles available for you at Craft Music.